I, I wrote an article about that. I was thinking, is it a contract? Is it a treaty? Is it an agreement? What's the analogy in law? And it's just a word that Congress made up. In fact, a fellow named Harry Reid, who is the minority leader of the Senate, made it up. He made it up because there was an impasse. He was fearful that the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act would fail and the Indians would be on their own. There would be no regulation of their gaming. And he was desperate to get his bill through. And he said, and, and, and he said we've got to regulate you. We've got to regulate you. And then he thought, ah, I'll tell you what. A year ago, there was a tribe in southern Nevada, the Mojaves, the Fort Mojave tribe. They're south of Laughlin. Actually, the people live in Arizona, but they have trust land in Nevada. They wanted a casino. It's Nevada. So they went to the Nevada government. The Nevada government said, no, we're not going to give you a casino. Why, you don't qualify. We have to do background checks. We have to get the FBI. And I don't think you, you have to have uh, economic uh, experience, business. You, you don't have the expertise. The Indians say, but we're a, we're a sovereign nation. We want a gaming. And, and, uh, and then they started threatening, well, we'll have lawsuits and all. And the state said, well, you know, if we could make an agreement with you on how it would be run. And uh, they said, well, what do you want in the agreement? And the state said, well, I'll tell you what. We don't want any taxes. But we want you to follow the Nevada gaming law. Could you do that? And they said, yeah, no taxes. We could follow the gaming law. Okay, sign an agreement that uh, you can run your casino according to our rules. We'll regulate it for you. You'll pay for the cost of regulation, but it'll only be 1%. But you won't pay the state 6, 6% tax. And the Indians, the Fort Mojave, signed the agreement. Ever since then, the state has harassed the tribe. You're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong, but they signed the agreement. They were a docile tribe. They went along with the game. Harry Reid got a notion in his head that maybe the Mohawks and the Seminoles were going to be like the Fort Mojaves. And he came up with this idea, why all the tribes of America, they can sit down with the states and they can say to the states, well, I know you can't tax us, but you regulate us, we'll follow your rules. The tribes across America did not follow the example of the Fort Mojaves. Uh, and our, uh, our man in Washington, uh, put the words in there, make compacts. That was his, and he was credited with getting the compromise that got the bill passed. Uh, and it was that little thing of the compacts, and also his wording that the Indians could negotiate for gaming that was permitted anywhere in the state by any person, and you had states like Connecticut that had church games that used blackjack, the state said, well, you can have casinos with blackjack. You let the church do it one day a year. Indian casino. Or in Minnesota, where the attorney general said, well, you want slot machines? Well, the bars, they have these machines. They, they only pay back in credits. You only win new games. But yeah, you're right. A new game is worth 25 cents. So I guess it's a gambling machine. You can have a 1,000 slot machines. <laughs> so you had this great big loophole that uh, our minority leader, the United States Senate, created. And I, I credit Harry Reid more than probably any individual from changing Indian gaming from bingo halls to these massive casinos we now see in Connecticut, the Indian casino is the largest casino in the world.